guys today i'm excited to be unboxing these two dolls from the latest disney wish movie um this is asha of roses and this is her friend dahlia of roses we went i went to see the movie with my daughter and son just before christmas and we actually loved the movie even more than we thought we would so we got these dolls um, as gifts for christmas and i'm gonna unbox them now and see what they're like so let's unbox ash's sorry asha first and she comes with the little goat. It's called Clementine, if I remember right. It says on the back, Asha is a driven, bright optimist who protects the hopes, wishes and lives of her community. And it shows you different things here that come with the items. She's got accessories that come with her. And um, it's saying here to try me with the goat. Um, it's pointing to press the button on its head. And I don't know if you can see that, the wee tongue is coming out when you press the button. How cute is that? So let's go ahead and get her out of the box. Goat was easy to get out. Let's see if she's going to be easy to get out. She is reasonably easy to get out. So let's take this off her hair. So she is free. Let's get her accessories. Okay, so here's the doll herself. Pretty face, nice freckled cheeks, brown eyes, red lipstick and a smile. She's got this lovely braided hair. Look at that, gorgeous. And it's just below waist length. Not the neatest cut at the bottom, but you could probably straighten it up if you wanted to. She comes in a dress. It's like a printed fabric. There's no texture to it. It's all printed one. This isn't um, extra fabric, for example. It's just a printed dress. And she comes with this belt, purple plastic with a wee bag hanging over the side. She's in flat purple shoes and has a wee ankle bracelet. She's just basic articulation. Her knees don't bend and um, her legs bend. Sorry, her legs move at the hip and go out a little bit to the side, but not that much. Her arms go out and back and forth. And obviously the movement of the neck. So quite basic articulation. But this is one of the basic fashion packs. Um, she comes with Clementine, who I think me stole the movie as the cutest cartoon character ever. And this little feature of pressing the head button and the tongue coming out. How cute is that? And I'm going to assume this card is for him. I can't remember any significance of the card in the movie. So if, if I forgot something, guys, it remind me. But I'm going to assume it's for him to eat. Just adding a quick edit in here to show you that this goat can really sit down. We've got moving back legs. You can put him in a sit down position. And I have now found out that his name is actually, actually Valentino and not Clementine like I've been saying in the video. So apologies. Hi Valentino. Also came with this star. One of the main characters in the movie. The cute little star, which I'm glad came with her. And the star, according to the box, can be carried in this wee bag here peeking out the side there and we've also got this book with a rose on the front and lots of nice embossed texture and it opens up to secure to hold things inside a secret compartment that's really cute she also came out and I forgot she came with this big shawl nice all different shades of purple and stripes and she can wear that around her shoulders Tuck it in through her arms. Yeah, so she's really, really cute. So let's put them over to one side and we'll unbox her friend, Dahlia. Okay, so next up, we're gonna unbox this girl. Ooh, 
This still has a really good likeness to the characters in the movie. I like the diverse body type here. So she's another one of the main characters in the movie. She's the best friend of Asha. She has this gorgeous black slick bob, as you can see. A lovely red and pink dress. Again, a printed fabric, no texture there, just completely flat. Flowers at the bottom. Um, you can see she's wearing brown flat, sort of cross between a boot and a shoe, like an ankle boot. Splits up the back for easy removal. Her dress has a full bow at the back, so this is supposed to be an apron. And she's wearing a, a yellow headband in her hair, and that's actually made of plastic. It's held in there with plastic ties to keep it nice and secure, so personally I would just leave that like that, but... She comes with these glasses. Let's see how they're attached. Yeah, they're removable as well, if you wanted to remove them. She's got lovely brown hazel eyes underneath. And this walking stick is nice and solid plastic. Lots of detailing on there with the faux ropes and that, and it's a good height for the doll. I think that's the style that they put this way. Yeah, yeah it's a good height for the doll to walk with. <laughs> she also has the basic um, points of articulation, but I'm just noticing here, she has one of her arms bends at the elbow and her wrist moves as well. This hand is shaped so that she can hold the walking stick. So her arm goes out to give space for the walking stick to fit into her grip. This arm, however, does not bend. That's my Wish dolls all unboxed and I've just noticed that Asha has this area of hair that's shaved here, which is really cool. Cute. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Let me know what you got for Christmas in the comments below. I will still be unboxing some more of my bits and pieces over the coming days. So do stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.